three things I couldn't live without. Music, sugar, meat. <laughs> and maybe, maybe some sort of pen and paper. I'm Kate Morass, I'm an art director, illustrator and designer from London. I was always a creative person, I think, from, from a very young age, but I uh, definitely lived in the art department of my school. I went on to study at University of Arts London and from about first year I freelanced kind of professionally and then I've carried on with my practice ever since I graduated. My wider family, I've got architects and, and artists and graphic designers, so without really it being like a point or a thing, I think I did come from quite a creative group of people, yeah. On your own, I think it's very difficult to just sort of pluck originality out of the air, and I think that's why I like to focus on good ideas rather than good, like, things that just look good. Core foundations are sort of hand-drawn typography, which I've always loved since God knows I can remember. I used to sort of make children's books when I was younger and I used to like drawing out all the type for the books and then um, I used to buy like Q magazine and just draw band logos out by hand and I think that's kind of where that fascination started. Pattern and geometry which I love equally and I think it just comes from the basic fascination of making something bigger out of lots of small components and I think it's quite a human thing, that, that sort of interest and that sort of code cracking and, and that building of detail is something I really enjoy in my work. My art direction style that is created for each individual project and each individual artist or band or company or brand that I'm working with and, and that is just, that is my favourite style because it's not bound by, by era, it's bespoke for an individual project, for an individual release or person. Working with a band like Simi Mobile Disco, they're a very unique project. We get to really go into detail around the music and the processes that they're interested in conceptually as well. And they just were really open to do stuff that was abstract and strange and just kind of trippy. If I wasn't an artist, I would like to be an uh, electrician. With, the, with an electrician, I just like the idea that you could fix things that are broken, because again, that's kind of like design, solving a problem, uh, and is sort of dexterous as well. You're kind of creative in, in your own way. Every creative industry has failures, and I think it's important for people to talk about that out loud so you know so everybody feels like they shouldn't be winning every time you know th these 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 sorts of industries are hard and it is an uphill battle and you do have to work really difficult to get known and get seen some people want to be x but are actually better at y and they need a good mentor or teacher or a friend to point out in them what their qualities are because it's very difficult to know that about yourself without someone observing you. It is a big world and there's lots of graduates and there's lots of people out there and you have to really um, know what you're about and, and work harder than everyone else in order to really you know, make that, that bigger step.